Welcome to my platform. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on your location. And if you like what I do here, please, after watching, subscribe, put on your notification bell, set it to all notifications so that you'll be able to know when I upload a new video. In this platform, we react to all forms of video, what we do before putting the video, analyze it, and we sit down there to watch it together with you. Then later, we'll come to the comment section to talk about it. Of course, everybody is entitled to his or her opinion, but let us always do it constructively in the comments. Thank you very much, uh, gentlemen of the press, and a happy new year to you. Um, you recall that in uh, September, uh, I came to see Mr. President to invite him to a Boeing State to commission some of our completed projects and uh, lay foundation stones for some of uh, our ongoing projects, especially the Aboin uh, State International Airport. Uh, but while we were in Paris together, I asked him to defer the visit to the first quarter of 2022, which he graciously uh, approved for me. So today I came to re-invite him to come and commission our numerous uh, projects in Southeast, uh, 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 in the Bad Boy State, of course, in Southeast, you know, for, um, from March 15th, uh, 2022. So, we are working on that. Uh, I also, uh, you know, briefed the Mr. President on the ongoing uh, international airport you know, of Bad Boy State, of which I requested for his assistance um, is taking a due process, and I believe that uh, Mr. President, uh, if he finds merit in it, will definitely assist us to purchase airport uh, equipment. Uh, so uh, enable us commission the airport by the end of, uh, 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 about end of uh, May 2022. Uh, of course, we discussed uh, politics, uh, we also discussed uh, uh, security in Southeast, uh, and that's um, the major reasons for the visit. Um, well, generally yes and no. Uh, we discussed, uh, you know, politics uh, as uh, per the growth of our party APC in Nigeria and uh, in Southeast, and of course, um, you know the. Uh, interest of Southeast for uh, the seat of presidency in 2023. And of course, I told Mr. President that um, without prejudice to whatever will be the decision of the party, which we shall all abide by, that uh, if the party throws the ticket open, or the zone to southern part of Nigeria that I believe that with what I put in place in the past um, six years plus, that I will be running for uh, presidency uh, on the platform of uh, APC. So I told him, and of course, he believes that uh, whoever that wants to run for president of this country must have to consult widely and uh, you know, go to all the leaders and that uh, we must do everything to remove uh, ethnicity and uh, our religion and our polity so that this country can grow. The Bible that I um, swore with, a section of it in the first Samuel says that by strength shall no man prevail and power and might belongs to God. Uh, he chooses whomever he wills, uh, and they will do that in 2023. I'm not in contest with anybody, I'm in contest with myself. I wouldn't have done that without first coming to clear with Mr. President that um, there is this uh, feelings in Southeast that I have not been president, and uh, that our people feel that uh, uh, um, those of uh, our leaders uh, in the various political parties should indicate interest to contest. And this is fair and this is important. 
but at the end of the day, it is God Almighty and the political parties that we also decide. I'm not Mr. President who must have a final say on the date for convention. Uh, and uh, I don't believe that uh, the governor you mentioned should have spoken for the party uh, because if it is APC Governors Forum, we have a leader, the chairman, who is the, His Excellency the Governor of Kebi State. Uh, he wasn't even aware of the meeting when I called him. And if it is the uh, party administration, we have His Excellency the Governor of uh, Yobe State. And I think these two would have been able to uh, speak to the press if we were going to have uh, such a meeting on Sunday. So. Um, Myself, I was not aware, but I had to inquire from the chairman of uh, APC Governors Forum, who wasn't also aware, and so I'm not sure the meeting held. Um, but um, I read on uh, newspapers sometimes when uh, the party leadership came to brief Mr. President, and they told him a February convention, and Mr. President says yes. It's not the man that says yes and says no at the same time. He's a man of uh, integrity, he's a man of his word. So uh, I believe that if uh, he ever said uh, February, that he's going to stick to that February, I am very sure of that. Uh, but it's uh, for him to speak, or for the party leadership to speak. Uh, I speak for my state. Or an easy leadership should not play politics. Yes, they can speak for the interest of, uh, you know, Southeast. They can speak for, uh, you know, uh, fair treatment to uh, Southeast as a people, but as a matter of, you know, equity, justice, and fairness, and uh, leaving a, a level playing uh, field for all the political parties and the aspirants, they should not dabble into uh, uh, politics or whom to support, whom not to support. I think they will hear it just like uh, they heard other political parties' uh, polit uh, aspirants. Uh, we will also write them to notify them that, uh, yes, uh, they have capable uh, sons and daughters that, if God wills, you know, could do this job. I can't understand what you mean by second question. I understand the first question. What is Buhari's presidency? Ah, oh, okay. Oh, yes. Um, first and foremost, um, it is uh, not fair to ask what is coming to see, because I'm sure you, you know what Mr. President is coming to see. We have completed 13 uh, twin flyovers, each one going between 300 meter length to 500. That's each of the twin flyovers. Um, we are doing the next two flyovers. We have uh, completed a mall that is not like any other mall in the entire West Africa. We've completed the best university in this country, and which we talked, you know, University of Medical Sciences, with all the center of excellence, you know, uh, all in uh, with the equipment. You have the artificial bed, you know, uh, sent there. You have the best eye center. You have the cancer center, the liver center. You have the uh, kidney transplant center. You, you have the heart surgery center. Uh, and so, um, the, the center is the best of its kind in the whole of uh, you know, Africa. Uh, Mr. President will also be commissioning his uh, you know, very uncommon uh, uh, flyover uh, um, complex, which we, uh, he laid the foundation stone. And this uh, flyover is, um, is very, it's quite complex, you know, and uh, it's called uh, Buhari, uh, President Buhari's uh, you know, flyover tunnel. Mr. President, we also see the first airport in West Africa being constructed, whose runway is being constructed with uh, concrete. Uh, Mr. President, we also be seeing the three industrial clusters. Mr. President, we'll be seeing the biggest uh, international market in West Africa. Mr. President, we'll be seeing a lot of uh, over 500 kilometers of completed 8 inches concrete routes. Mr. President, we'll be seeing a lot of uh, agri projects in the state completed. Uh, you know, fertilizer plants and so on and so forth. Um, yeah, uh, God willing, if it's God's will and the wish of the people of this country, uh, my presidency will be looking at, you know, the same thing we did in a bunch state. Uh, before we came on board, uh, we were a state written off 
uh, we had nothing to write home about infrastructure. But I must commend the first two civilian uh, you know, uh, governors, you know, uh, Dr. Sam Ewu and the Chief Elechi. Uh, they did quite a lot because um, they came in the midst of the dust of the nation, Ebony State. And so they had, you know, quite a lot of challenges. So I can say that they laid, you know, the foundation upon which I started to build. And so um, there are a lot of things that we have done in Ebony. We have the best uh, government house you can see anywhere. We have the best ESCO chamber and the largest you cannot see anywhere. And so uh, we intend to replicate the same thing. And uh, I believe that with the little resources we have, and people have been asking us, how did you do it or how do you do it? And it's all about patriotism. It's all about fear of God. It's all about bringing you know, experience to bear. I've been uh, uh, um, you know, into the construction you know, since I graduated. So uh, I have a lot you know, to give in terms of how to run governance as business uh, because uh, you, you have to have the heart, you know, to help the people. And that's what we've demonstrated about it. So we want to, you know, treat the nation, if God permits, you know, that what we've done becomes a microcosm of the macrocosm of which uh, we expect. We also believe strongly that uh, we'll be able to, you know, continue with what Mr. Preza has done. One of the greatest problems we have in this country is ethnicity, religion, and the unpatriotic, you know, uh, features of a lot of uh, our people. And I think there is a need to engage, uh, starting from where Mr. President would have stopped. Let me also add that um, uh, as the chairman of Southeast Governors Forum, that I uh, support uh, a political solution to our insecurity problems in the Southeast. And of course, I mentioned it to Mr. President. And uh, you see, political solution does not terminate uh, the judicial uh, process. And if you know Mr. President very well, he has always said, and uh, he has always demonstrated that he wouldn't interfere with any judiciary you know, process. You know, everybody knows him for that. But you remember very well that if agreement is reached you know, uh, between parties, uh, you don't expect Mr. President to be the negotiator, uh, there are a lot of, uh, you know, uh, federal uh, government, uh, you know, officials. And so I believe strongly that Southeast, you know, that proposing for political solutions should be able to engage the federal government. After all, there's always what is called out of court settlement. Uh, but it's for, you know, our people and, uh, you know, our brother can to be willing, you know, for us to truly engage so that we can find true peace in our region. because. The activities they, you know, uh, have destroyed a lot of uh, the economy of Southeast. A lot of lives have been lost. And uh, when we were shouting it that it wasn't going to benefit, the big agitation shouldn't have gone that, you know, uh, way it did. Today, the matter has gone beyond them. You know, every criminal, kidnapper, some robbers tend to claim that IPOB. And IPOB in turn is fighting them. But it's, I think it's late. So we desire peace. We desire to save the lives of our people. And so we are willing to engage uh, to see uh, that we have, you know, uh, uh, a amicable settlement and, uh, you know, rebuild, you know, the economy of Southeast. The starting point. Uh, you see, the leaders of Southeast, of course, not all of them. They must be selected leaders, and they already the Ohanese and the Chief Mbazulike is already, you know, in the forefront. And they, uh, they have always been briefing me, and so I've joined them together with Southeast Governor. So that could be the starting point, and we'll be able to know what we want. We want peace. And so there are things we must give up to, you know, acquire that peace, you know. Because if we are not being fairly treated, and that some people feel we are not being fairly treated, we should be able to, you know, constructively show to the uh, federal government the areas we think that you are not being fairly treated. Not through hate speeches, not through violence. I don't believe in all those things, you know. Because even in homes, in families, you know, the wife or husband or children, we still have one or two against the, uh, uh, the family. But they should be able to discuss. If you listen to me very well, you, uh, uh, Mr. President has never, you know, been in disagreement for peace, uh, 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 or anything that will bring peace. But you must allow him, you know, for what he believes in and for his uh, pedigree and integrity, 
not to interfere with the judiciary. But it is up to us because the byproduct of our discussion and negotiation is such that we can now go to um, you know, the court and seek for out-of-court settlement. And whatever is the agreement becomes uh, the settlement of the court. So I believe strongly that you know, a political solution you know, will be far better than the, uh, the, 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 the process, which may last for a very long time. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video together with me. Like I said before, if it is your first time of coming across my YouTube channel and you like what I do, please subscribe, put on your notification bell, share this video, leave your comment in the comment section. You are free to criticize, but let us do it always constructively. Remain blessed. I appreciate your massive support and I love and cherish each and every one of you. Until I meet you again in my next video, for now we say, Bye-bye.